Good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome back to my channel, uh, where we've got a new partner tonight. Oh, uh, yeah, the flip part. Um, really looking forward to doing this. Um, sorry, shoot one and two this evening. Uh, but before I carry on and introduce you to all my lovely guests I've got with me to launch my show today, just get a few of the boring things out of the way. So, uh, first of all, uh, I am really happy for you to. Um, promote your channels but can we just please limit it to one um and then also the chat can we sort of have it sort of on on subject um don't mind you know straying a little bit but um yeah try and keep it spitfire related or model related that would be great um and if you are new to watching this uh maybe this bit of our intro to you please uh like share subscribe and uh, you'll you'll get a notification when i go live in the future uh that all being said i'm going to introduce all my guests with me so we've got adrian thank you all yeah help to get you back on this, this model lovely thank you yeah really looking forward to this uh we've got oh hello Tony Hill, what, what? Um, yes, thank you for allowing me on the show today. Um, as you know, I'm building this, um, and I'm really putting my heart and soul into this one. So, obviously, when I heard Horlicks was doing it, I, I just couldn't have heard any better news. Um, so, it's, it's rather nice when we do similar part works. Yeah. Part work buddies. Yeah, we all, yeah. No, good. Um, and we've got. Mark Smart. So, hi everybody. Thanks for having me on tonight, Horlix, with this new part work. You're going to love this model. You really are going to love it. It's in, amazing. In mm. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, well, the thing is, the reason I've done this is because I've been watching these guys do their, their models. And I'll get every week. Same as the bus, really. I was watching Penny and, and Mark. I didn't watch Mark Scarwood because he, I didn't know about Mark when I first started the Root Master. But the Root Master, and then obviously the Spitfire and everything, I was just watching their builds. I'm like, do you know what? I really want to do this. And I kept leaving it later and later and later. And I thought, no, I'm doing it. So it cost me a bit more of an outlay to start with because I've had to get the issues from the shop. Uh, delivered but i'm now subscribed and i actually got my first subscription pack uh on thursday i think it was well uh, I, can, I can totally relate to your horlex because um i was just talking to dave the other day about um this there's, there's some nice nice looking part works out there i know there's a couple just coming out um but they just i mean i've been doing part works now what three years and the challenge isn't there um so i'm always looking for the next challenge now with regards you've got the back to the future which you've done and now mark's mods is doing it and between the two of you i'm like despite the fact it's not really my thing i really just want to get in there and do it yeah it's a bit of a yeah but obviously the same as well i mean obviously part of the fun is just building stuff as well so obviously it does matter to a degree what you're building you have to be even a little bit interested in the model um you know, you've got to be interested in the model but you excuse me you've also got to in, in uh enjoy what you're doing um yeah there is a part work i've seen and it looks to me like you're just bolting bits of plate on screw screw that plate on next week screw yeah. that plate on that even though i like the subject matter it wouldn't interest me um yeah. you know i wouldn't have fun building it i suspect allegedly. yeah no, so, um, yeah okay you know, nervous now could you stop me? i feel like i'm stopping you from introducing the other guests no 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 I'm, I'm um and then we've got uh dave Day good evening and um welcome to horlicks's stream tonight brand new stream for you horlicks build the spitfire mark one here uh group captain dave's hobbies here at bsc to um to to help you along the way and um you might notice that we've all got titles tonight as well so 
Um, have fun and uh, working out what the titles mean. And probably before the night, we'll we'll end up telling you what all our titles are. So um, tally ho, let's go, chaps. <laughs> Thanks, Ray. Um, we've got Geordie Day. Hi, Frank Lieutenant Geordie Dave here, BCP LCW. As Dave says, you'll get told what the mean later on. Thanks for having us there, Horix. I think this will be another cracking build, so everybody enjoy. No, thank you. Yeah, really looking forward to this. And as I said, you know, it's your, it's all your fault I'm doing this because, <laughs> yes, I do like paint and, you know, I go to the Airborne show in Eastbourne most years when it's on and, you know, it's it's, it's great fun looking at all the different types of aircraft. But I'm watching your build this and I'm like, I just want to build it. Yeah. So, it is. It's really, even the slower issues, as I call them, aren't really that slow are they no there's one issue where you've got absolutely nothing to do um but apart from that it's you know there's there's a couple of issues where you've got like three or four screws to put in but the result of those three or four screws is like wow yeah so i, I have yeah. the same thing with the root master Mm -hmm. I saw everybody else building this bus when I came onto the Route Master Show, and it was like, why am I not doing this model? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I had the same thing. So. And also, I think that was a testimony to our group because we all pulled together and got you issues, didn't we? Oh, gosh, yeah. Uh, yeah. There's, a bit, there's a bit of everybody in that bus behind me. Yeah, yeah, there is. If you'd and have got you know, that bus off eBay, you'd have been paying what? Well, what's, what's an issue now on eBay for Route Master? Uh, oh. 20 quid, yeah, yeah, but usually like 25 quid seems to be about average, yeah. Uh, it's a case of this person's got a couple of issues, that person's got a few issues, that one's got just one issue, but it's an issue you need, yeah. Uh, you know, it's the same with, with everything, you know, we're all trying to help out getting Horlicks caught up on a Spitfire and. Because I, yeah. I I came in a bit late and I'm like, oh, I've got about four issues you can have, but he'd already ordered them. Mm. So, um, but yeah, it's um, yeah, when you got good friends, mm. yeah, they all chip in and help. Yeah. yeah, and I think we can all say that, can't we all? Yeah, I've sure yeah. my friends for help, and they've not even thought about it; just jumped straight in and helped. Yeah. Well, I remember when I started it, Fleetwood. He sent me a little a care package with. Root master bits in it, and it yeah. was just so touching. Yeah, you know, sent me a little package to go along with it. Yeah, but it's just the little things, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Um, so yeah, and also before I start, thank you to um, Mark and Dewey. I received your Christmas card. And uh, there's something under there for me, which is there with a bloody label, printed label on it. <laughs> so I'm still getting, you, still getting, the, getting your use out of that. Oh, yeah, I have to put who it's from with my label. <laughs> and um, obviously I've got uh, uh, cards as well from Dave and Christine, which is lovely. So thank you very much for that. Yeah. Julie did all them cards. Yeah, I saw that. I thought, oh, don't. I painted one. Lovely, yeah. yeah. She's done all of yeah. them and then obviously sent them, so. Yeah. Yeah, she's been busy away. So, right, let's um, go through some of the chat and uh, then we will start. I don't know what I'm going to need. I'm unprepared because this is obviously a new part work, so I don't know if we're going to need glue. Sure you don't need a screwdriver. Glue. Do you need glue for... Issue you know, one, it's so long ago since I've done it, but issue one, I think you just need a screwdriver, and that's it. And I think you even get a screwdriver with it. Yeah. Okay, so Gold Star goes to Penny's co host on a Wednesday afternoon, and that is Yorkshire Crafter. Hello, everyone. Hello, Julie. Hello, Julie. Hi, Julie. Uh, and then there's me. Good evening, everybody. Hello, Hello Mark. Mark. <laughs> Hello, Mark. Uh, then we've got Dave Hobbies. Hello, friends. Hello, my friends. Hello, Dave, Hello, Dave. Hello, Dave Hobbies. <laughs> and then we've got Bill with Adrian. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Adrian. Adrian. Uh, 
so we've got Matthew Borum, Evening All, seeing the latest on the news. Well, we won't really get into that because it's Hello, not Matthew. related. But Hi, Matthew. Yeah. Uh, we've got P40F20. Hi, all. Hi, P40F20. Hi, P40F20. Uh, we've got Dave Mack. Evening, Horlicks and everyone. Hi, Dave. Hello, Dave Mack. Hi, Dave Mack. Hi, Dave um, Mack. We've got Christine Say. Hi, everyone. Hello, darling. <laughs> Hello, Christine. Um, we've got P40F20, Chocks Away. Chocks Away, old chums, yes. Yeah. And then we've got Fleetwood J. Hi, all. Hope everyone is okay. And good luck with your new project, Alex. Hope it's clear to take off, so Chocks Away. Chocks Away. Hi, Fleetwood. <laughs> and that's your chat. Hi, Fleetwood. Right. Okay. Well, well, it's issue one of the script. Uh, okay, so let me just uh, sort the camera out and we will open this and see what is waiting for us. Cannot wait, cannot wait. Hurry up, Alex, I can't wait. <laughs> and the camera, there we go. Well, I'm just going to open my drawer and get out my knife. So, you need some scissors. Oh no, I've got to use my blade. You've got what? I have to use my blade, yeah, to get this out. So, just before we start, yeah, we obviously get this, the uh, the, in, the info on the model we're building. So, it's going to have uh, rotating propellers. Um, detailed engine, landing gear that will actually move, and I've ju actually just recently watched uh, Penny's video on that, and it's amazing. Um, opening the cockpit, it's got lights and um, a nice uh, base to come with it as well. So it's going to be, what's the dimensions? So it's going to be, uh, the length is going to be 510 millimetres. The total height is going to be 135 millimetres and the wingspan is 620 millimetres. So that's going to be a nice uh, nice big model, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I don't actually know why this camera is a bit blurry. but um, Yeah, and then we get the instructions and then we get the story of the Spitfire. Um, and then fighter, uh, fighter squadrons, the Battle of Britain. Um, and then, yeah, just general information as you do in these uh, these magazines. So um, you get some free gifts, but I don't think I will get them because I started the build late. So I won't have any of these free gifts, unfortunately, which is a shame because I the, the plaque looks really good. Um, I don't know whether I could phone them and perhaps buy it separately. I, d I don't know, um, but all I know is that it's supposed to come with your your name branded on it. So, right, yeah, I forgot about that. I'm going to miss out on that, unfortunately, and all of these free things. But it's because I started the build so late, so I, I, I don't think I will get them. Normally, you have to start from issue one to get the free gifts. Yeah, and so because I started. From, sorry. Yeah, so because I started from thirty-five. Um, yeah. That's not gonna. Anyone what the free gifts were? I'm you, Holix. I didn't start with 35. Um, you get a free issue three, the binder. Uh, you get a tin poster that says yeah. "Never was so much owed by so many to so few." Yeah. Um, and then you've got the uh, a mug with the a 74 mug, yeah. squadron badge oh, on. Yeah. 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 And a plank. And then you get a personalised display. Plaque so with your all the, all of them apart from the um plaque so far haven't we yeah, yeah. so and but yeah. my plate came bent so i wasn't very happy with that but oh no yeah well i managed to get i managed to get the tin plate and the mug off me soon yeah I'm, i might look on um on on ebay yeah, my, my situation is a case of what am I going to do with it? 
I'm sure I've got a spare tin plate you can have, Alex. Have you? Yeah. Oh, that'll be good. How did you end up with two, Dave? Um, I got one uh, with the build, and then somebody sent me another one because um, they didn't want it. So. Ah. I did thank him for at the time. So, uh, tell you. us when you're ready, Hulix. I'm just getting into these packets. Well, I'm definitely going to need to get some scissors for the, ready for the next uh, the next shows. But there we go. I'm in. I'm in. So, right. Four checklists. One. The color bleeds. Three. And this is, I was really excited. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was really excited to uh, to feel these because these are made of metal and um, there is some weight to them, isn't there? Yeah. Um, I would put a towel down, Harlix, with them because the paint comes off quite easily. Right. My, um, my view on that is if you buy yourself Humbra, when the, when the build is finished, because... They're so easy to catch those yellow bits. You will lose the edges, but don't even bother repainting them until the very end. And all you need, I can't remember the colour, but Humbrol Trainer Yellow seems to be a really good match. And if it's not, all you've got to do is put some masking tape on and repaint the whole lot. Five minutes. Right. So I'm really not worried about catching mine, but I'm it's not. Just, so uh... I got a telling off from P40F20, so... Yeah, yeah we, all, we all get tellings off from P40 for not putting towels down, but... Yeah. Um, okay, two, spinner, nose cord. Okay, that is... Oh, wow, that's metal as well. Yeah. You see, it's really hard to please Horlix, isn't it? Oh, wow, that's metal as well. <laughs> I thought that was plastic. No, I can't believe it's not metal. No, I can't yeah. believe it's not plastic. <laughs> Three. Three, propeller mount in a port. Okay, so. There's a tip to tell you to tell these are ports. Three and four. Let's have a little look. Ports three and four are very similar. Note that port three has a higher percent of ports than port four. The port four has rib joints. So it's along the edges of the port. Okay, yeah, so I think this is part three. And then four. four. Okay. Part five, assembly template. What's this piece? Part six, propeller cog. Times three. One, two, three. And seven central cog. That one? Yep. And eight, two, two point three by six millimeter PB screws, one spare. Oh, right. So, a new part work calls for a new <laughs> screw part. And the new label um, thing, insert the label maker. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to uh, quickly draft up a quick label. So. Oh, you're making me feel jealous now you're using your label maker. So it's a PB screw. Uh, 12. <laughs> Just while Horlix is doing that, there's a tiny little bit more chat. Uh, Matthew Barron says, I have someone saying it's not a perfect model. Wheels don't go around. It, I think it depends, if I may say, I think it depends on what you are after. Um, I don't think it's really essential that the wheels go round because it's been going to be sitting on a display 
case um, and the wheels are going to go up and down but just to reiterate what Dave said about the Route Master, it's a very, very good model that if you want to take it further, you can, as I am doing with mine. You know, I'm not I'm not totally happy with the colour of the wheels, so I've repainted them. But if you didn't do any mods to it whatsoever, I don't think there's really much wrong with it. No. Yeah. And if it's be all and end all as your wheels going round. Yeah. I, I think that's that's really. Do you want to print off the it. next two screws as well? I can do. Uh, just my label makers jammed up. Right. Oh dear. Would, would you agree with that, Dave? Yes, if, I would agree with that. Your only problem is your wheels. It's really not a problem. Yeah, yeah. I, would, I would agree with that. I mean, I've built, as you know, I've built um, one one of the root masters completely out of the packet with yeah. no modifications whatsoever and yeah. i am 110 percent happy with it uh, because yeah. uh, it just looks superb um, and okay. yes we do know there's little defects that we that we could all compromise they're not, on they're not necessarily defects no i not. would say that given the scale and given the pre the production methods it's yeah. impossible to get it if you want to spend four hours or four days making, um, I don't know, a new replacement air blower or something because it's one millimeter too wide, yeah, that's fine. That's up to you. But given the production methods, I think it's all as perfect as it can be. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. And I've got to be honest with you. I'm going to get myself shot for this. I find that a lot of people are moaning about the Spitfire just the sort of they, you get people who are receiving their issues a day before the majority of us they're then posting all their pictures on facebook having a moan then when the people who do know what they're talking about are receiving their issues they're then going actually there's nothing wrong with it yeah you know i remember someone saying about the wings the wings aren't long enough no but this is only the inner skin once yeah. the outer skin added another inch on each wing. Of course. Yeah, and then what was the yeah. other man we had? Um, the, the, it, hang on, hang on. I have to practice this before I say it. The ailerons had the wrong <laughs> colour. Yeah. And then when more research was done, oh, actually, they are the right colour. And then there's still the debate about the air filter, oil filter, yeah. air, air filter. Um. But it just every single pack, someone seems to complain. I think it's like we seem to have developed a group of people that want to be like known of the month, and I want to generate it. Yeah. And I get myself shot for that. I <laughs> know you are. I'm, I'm, I'm speaking quite frank. Okay. Right, just do these last bits of chat. Uh, Fleetwood J said, Will the Wayne uh, 3D printed a stand for the Spitfire? Uh, P40F20 makes a good point. Uh, the model is not designed to sit on the landing gear, yeah. Yeah, and uh, Matthew Barnes says, I'm impressed with the things it can do. You're a good job, yeah. yeah. And again, it's the age old thing, and, and it seems a bit of a cop out. If you're not happy with the model, don't don't build it, don't mm. build it, yeah. So, uh, this is why issue one and issue two is cheap. It gives you the opportunity to have a look at the quality of the parts. Uh, yes, sorry, what, it. Adrian, what, what was the next screw that you said I might need? PB two times four mil. And the I mean, other it's... one. Yeah. PM. Two times four mil. Brilliant. Thank you. The only thing I don't like about these label machines, it wastes so much. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, you really want to print like as much as you possibly can. 
in one like maximize the number of maximum number of characters. Now I just save for uh, this will save some time later on. And I'll do a label for the case later. Do, don't have to do that now. As long as we've got the screws labelled, that's all that I'm worried about at the moment. So to date, do we have more PB screws or more PM screws? Good. An, an equal number, really. Okay, I'll start that there then. Okay. Stage one. Yes, let's go. Okay, take the propeller mount three and the assembly plate five. Fit port three into the center of Okay. Two, ensure the one fits smoothly into the recess in the center of the template. Oh, wrong one. That one. Okay. Get the central cog seven into the center of the inner part of the propeller mount three. Well, that one. Part four is ensure that the teeth of the cog seven face outwards so that they can interlock with the propeller gears. Okay. Right. Five. Take one of the propeller cogs, six, and fit it onto the egg on the end of one of the propellers. Can I offer right there, yeah, there's like a key way on there that will fit in. Yeah. Okay. And six, repeat step five of the other two propellers and propeller cogs, ensure that the cogs are pushed firm in place. Wow, yeah. Is that all three done? Yeah, so I know if they don't go all the way to the bottom, there's still a bit of a, a gap there, but that's um, not going to go in any further than that. Great. Fit the three, three propeller cogs, six over the center of cog seven in the middle of the moat, as indicated by the red arrow. The cyclical part of each blade fits into the neck of the central hook, as indicated by the blue one. The blades fit into the recesses in the outer rim of the template, as indicated by the yellow one. If I can offer some advice, there's a little tab just above the plastic. Um, uh, between the main propeller blade and the little plastic cog, there's a little tab. This one? Yes. Yeah. Now, if you lay that propeller in, there's a little cutout inside that little, I forget what the bit's called, sorry, but it will actually lay inside there. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. Is if the blades fit smoothly into the recesses, this will ensure that they are at the correct angle. Uh, Okay, I think that's all in. Okay. Right. The diagram shows the propeller blades in the correct position. Check that way too. And both types of cogs are engaged. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Finally, take the outer part of the propeller mount four and fit it over the propeller gears so that it is aligned with the inner part of mount three, fixed and placed with the 2.36 millimeter PB screw. Okay, so PB screw. 
and I've noticed there's like um, a tab on this outer bit. I'm guessing that doesn't matter at this stage which which way that goes. No, not at the moment. No, I think that becomes relevant in a later stage. Okay. Yeah. The propeller has been fitted to the propeller mount and are held in place in the center plate. The spinner nose 102 will be fitted in a future issue. Store the force carefully that they are needed. Wow, there we go. So I'll hand over to um, whoever's doing number two. Does that squadron need a mark? No, it's uh, Group Captain Dave's Hobbies. Oh, yeah. Group Captain Dave's Hobbies. I'll yeah, just do yeah. a bit of chat before we... Okay. Uh, if you start. heard me giggling, it's because I did read a comment and I knew it was a spelling mistake, but it still made me laugh anyway. Me too, yeah. <laughs> uh, so uh, Matthew Borum says, just managed to get the smaller hatch on the wing open with my fingernail. Okay. okay just be uh, careful because those decals and paint might come off easy. Yeah. Uh, David Bassett says, evening Horlicks and the rest of the cack squadron. Sorry, I missed Chucks away. <laughs> uh, that's the crack squadron. Oops, sorry. Yeah, that's what I knew. I knew he meant that, but I still found it funny. Yeah, when you hear that. So, good evening, Horlicks and the other members of this crack squadron <laughs> <laughs> sorry i missed chuck so he's not having a good night he's david Bassett. <laughs> down, just rewrite the whole message <laughs> <laughs> that's right. absolutely fine david jolly good that you come along as well so yeah thank you yeah right so um it's one to each your two now then uh, magazine number two of the, the Spitfire Mark 1 Air, and we're going to be doing the motor and gears for the spinner. Okay, so you tell me when you're ready for a checklist, Tolly, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so. I do need to get some scissors, really. Do you, want to, do you want to pick up the chat a bit, uh, yeah. Mark? So, Matthew Barham says, I was looking forward to doing issues one to, uh, to five and my mother's on the 25th. Not going to happen now I'm gutted. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Um, Tony, Tones Transport Photos. Yeah. Hey, all, good luck with the build, Horlicks. Great you started with the Spitfire, Tony. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I really look forward to it. I love a part work, me. Yeah. Well, the thing is, as well, like the, the room master is coming to an end. And I've, well, I've got, apart from four issues, I've got a problem with I've got the whole collection and um, the payments are done. So, yeah. But why? Time this, is, this, this is one good thing. When you start your first part work, it's like, I'm really not sure if I can commit to that and, and pay for it every month. And then by the time you've been doing it for 130 weeks, you're like, well, I can get another part work because I've been paying this and I've got used to it. And you've never seen the money anymore, have you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm ready, Dave. Okay. So the parts checklist is... 201 at motor housing okay and that i believe this no i don't want that one this one that looks like the one yeah okay yeah that looks like yeah, the one that looks like... and then it's uh 202 motor housing again that's this one, so I can see it's got the pegs in this one. Mm, yeah. Okay. And then we've got um, part number three, uh, propeller gear set. Oh. Okay. And well, that's in this bag. Yeah. Because it has grease on it. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 
we love a bit of greasy melt, don't we? Yeah, we love a bit of grease. So, um, and then we've got 204, which is a motor. Oh, yes. Okay. I'm wondering actually how strong that motor is. So then we've got um, 205, lower fuselage frame, which is like a U-shaped bit. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then we've got um, we've got uh, 206, which is three, two by four PB uh, screws and one spare. So these are the PB screws. So they're the black ones. And one spare. PB24, so we've got one spare, so I'll put that away, yep. Yeah. Okay. Right, and then we've got uh, 207, which is four, two times four millimeter PM screws and one spare. PM24, one spare. In the box. Perfect. Okay. Yes. Jolly good. So it chocks away then, uh, everyone, on step one. Okay. And you're going to need your propellers. And um, so step one then, Horlix, is remove the propeller assembly from the template, issue one. And turn it over so that the flat side of the mount, 103, is uppermost. Fit the assembly into the spinner nose cone, 102, from issue 1. Okay, so is that the flat side towards you, uh, Alex? Yes. Okay. So in step two then, it says uh, ensure that the propeller mount fits snugly into the spinner 102 so that the propeller blades fit into the recesses. Note that there is a small peg on the propeller assembly, part 104, which locates in a notch in part 102. Ah, uh, yes. That was lucky. I got that first time. But then yeah, I guess if I were it becomes relevant in a later stage. Yeah. yeah. You can see it doesn't quite fit well there. But yeah. as it happened, I got that the right way around the first time, I guess. This, yeah, this is why we all say test fit, test fit, test fit. Doesn't yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. Uh, on to step three then. Um, step three, and this is a bit more complicated, Harlex. So it's fit the propeller gear set 203 into the center of the spinner 102. The curved tabs fit over the arms of the propellers as indicated by the red arrows. Fix in place with three two times four millimeter PM screws. 207 blue arrows the screws fit into the sockets in the spinner 102 and the tabs on the gear set 203 fit neatly over the propeller arms okay so that fits nicely in there okay and then Right, and, and then so you need uh, three uh, PM 2.4 millimeter screws and screw it into place. I'll just catch up on the uh, chat. So, David Bassett says the frame that World of Wayne has 3D printed is just a temporary stand to replace the very flimsy cardboard one supplied by Harshet to hold the model temporary whilst it's under construction. Ah, yeah, right. I might recommend, Horlicks, that you uh, might open, I'm not too sure what issue it is, but open and make the cardboard stand. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, I was. He's only four. I did see the um, the mod that well the the 3D print that uh, Wayne advertised, and I might actually print one um, because I've got a proof 3D printer and I can. Um, yeah, it did look quite good. Are available, Horlex. Pardon? Are the files available? Because I know um, part work upgrade. I love part work upgrades. Don't uh, don't get me wrong. But I know they're selling it. Are they making the files available? Yeah, he posted a link, um, yeah, and it was free. It, to, it was free to download. Um, what I've done with my device is I got a piece of card, and I taped the stand. I didn't like the flimsiness of the cardboard, but when I yeah. found, I've, I've taped it down onto a piece of card to give it like the fifth side of a box. <laughs> And it's certainly rigid enough. And obviously, once the build is done, it's all gone in the bin. Because when you've got this lovely, it's not Spitfire's gone in the bin. I could have played that slightly better, couldn't I? Um, yeah. The cardboard stand's gone straight in the bin because it won't be needed. Because, um, um, blah, 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 I forgot the words I was going to say. Um, yeah, because it's got its own built in. Well, is she's, is she, is she's 101 to 120 is going to be the stand. Effectively. Yeah. So. Oh. Yeah, I'll have to see. I think it's still available. Um, <clears throat> but I'll um, give that a print. Uh, I've got a message from uh, Fleetwood J. Power Upgrades is now charging sixteen ninety nine. The files aren't available now. I think so. You have to buy it. Oh, okay. Okay. Good job I downloaded it the other day then when it was free. <laughs> Are they not right. available anymore? Oh, no, Fleetwood was saying they're not. I, I did download them um, to my phone, I think. So, so those that are quick. Uh, I've got it. Those that are slow haven't. Yeah. Oh well. Looks like I'm going to need my might need my. I might have a look at it actually. Have a look at the file. Yeah. But, uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't pay for it. It's nothing against part work upgrades, but when I've got an, a sufficient bit of cardboard. Um, yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't bother paying for them. Okay. okay then. Do you want step four? Yeah, so let's uh, move on to step four. So step four is take the motor housing 202, slide the two brass cylinders uh, on part 203 as far apart as possible so that you can fit the channel on part 202 between the rims uh, of the brass pieces as indicated by the red arrows. The inset below shows the housing in place. And then in the brown box there, it says, uh, Tip, parts 201 and 202 are very similar. Note that part 202 has two raised screw sockets. Make sure you fit them in the right orientation as shown here. So... Um. Two or two. Uh, uh, there. I'm not sure which way that is because I can't see because you're on. The top bit goes right. If you look on the actual motor, you've got two little sleeves that move freely. That's it. That's you, it. Yeah. yeah. You need to pull those sleeves apart and place it in between the two sleeves. That's correct. Yeah. I struggled with this until I realised they actually moved. Yeah, that's correct. So, and then we'll have to go on to step five, Horlex. And okay. possibly step six. So, step five is take the motor at 204, shown here without the cable, for clarity. Uh, fit, it, fit it into the motor housing 202 with one of the curved sides upwards. One of the curved sides upwards. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, step six is the teeth on the cog attached to the motor two or four should engage with the teeth on the cog on the gear set two or three. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 
Okay, step seven, uh, take the second part of the motor housing, 201, and fit it over the motor so that the screw holes in the two housing parts are aligned, fixed together with two times four millimeter, uh, two times two, two times four millimeter PB screws, 206, uh, with a black finish. Um, just a little bit more chat. Uh, Fleetwood J saying, please come and keep the comments relative to the build, build if possible. Yeah. And Matthew Baum says, cardboard stand issue 34. Ah, uh, thank you, Matthew. I'm feeling a bit peckish now. You're not. I am. I've seen what you've had for tea. I know. I can just eat something sweet there. I've got some jelly babies if you want some. No, a bit more substantial than that, I think. What about a caramel wafer? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've them at the moment if you want some. Oh, I love caramel wafers. Okay. Okay. So, we're on to step eight already then, are we? Yeah. I think, yeah, we are, we are. Sorry, missed my place then. So step eight is the two housing parts, 201 and 202, hold the motor in place and the propeller gear set, 203, with the teeth of the cogs engaged. Then it says, completed work, gears and motor have been fitted to the spinner, complete with propellers, uh, part 205 will be fitted in a future issue store the parts carefully until needed so you, you should have parts now call it of the complete propeller assembly and the u-shaped uh, fuselage bit yeah and that is issue two complete coming in issue three um, in issue three of Build the Spitfire Mark 1A, uh, your next set of parts, you will receive parts for the engine plus your first pieces oh, of fuselage. Hello? Try not to break it on your very first trip. No, I've got to be excited. I'm, um, do you want to do issue three, Horlicks? I'm just wondering if I can power this motor up. No. No. Very dangerous. I just want to make sure. Got an exposed cog there, Horlex. I can't. I haven't got the right connector for it. I was thought I could use this test board, but it's uh, a smaller plug. No, I would have held it carefully just to see that everything is running smooth Don't and the motor do, works. It's always good to test things. But, um, and obviously beforehand you would say don't do what i do kids <laughs> yeah this is my part work unless you want to dig out a future issue yeah no it's okay um so yeah that's uh one and two then uh, uh you was asked by um squadron leader mark if uh, you wanted to do issue three. Oh. oh do do I? What do you think? What do you think? Let's Three. let's let's, let's yeah. give it to the audience. Right, so in chat, if you want a Horlix to do issue three and four, vote now. You know can read a note. Oh Penny, yeah. your oh. Uh, microphone volume is very low. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. If we get more than three yeses, then we'll yeah. That's because you know what? Do you know what? You've got three yeses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're doing issue I'll, three and four, Horlex. Yeah, microphone now, Horlex. Well, Mark, do you want to do 
That's the better. reason the microphone was bad was because it was actually being done through the headphones, which are tucked away, oh, and then right. the hidey place. <laughs> right. So we've got uh, Dave Mack, yes, do issue three and four. We've got Yorkshire Crafter, yes, yes, yes. Uh, we've got Turns, Transport Photos, I vote yes. Uh, we've got Matthew Borum, yes from me. So I think you're doing issue three and four, Horlicks. And I'll tell you what, I'll put in the golden buzzer then, shall I? <laughs> yeah, if, if you can uh, help Horlicks with the instructions and yeah. someone else. If I can find them. Oh, you'll find them on the spit page, Adrian, yeah. Adrian, are they in our special place? Well, actually, I sent some people a link to... Um, a special place where you can download the next one by messenger. Now I've actually found them in our little special place. Oh, jolly good. I'll download issue three and four just in case because I know I know how influential our audience are. Um, yeah. It will take a minute just to uh, download though. Well, it, right, it so... it... Go on, Dave. It wouldn't be the same without Penny and Harlick's building, would it now? Well, no. I tell you what, it's really nice for me to be calling out the instructions to Horlick when it's more to the other way around. Yeah. You're going to really do, really nice. do three and four, Penny? Yeah. Yeah. Um, just, um, just to cover ourselves, um, yes, we do have copies of the magazine. Um, we have our permission to to share the instructions but yeah. not the articles yeah um, and the reason that works out well is because um obviously you need the parts to do anything with the instructions um but if you want to read the articles you're going to have to buy the magazine yeah okay right. okie dokie okay uh, no, it's Dave, in pdf format i'm afraid so it's going to be slightly odd, but this was unexpected, wasn't it? Yeah. Dave Max says, pity I didn't have, the, have a webcam when I started mine from the beginning of the build. I would have put it all on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, and uh, not reading that one out because it's not relevant. It would get to see Penny and Hall. It's dynamic. You yeah. Know? yeah. I can't figure out how to... Um... Oh, God, what's going on? Oh, no. Are we having a technical problem? I'm having a technical issue. <laughs> I'm trying to um, make it up <laughs> in the wrong section. Zoom to... Right, okay, so uh, let's do a screen share then. So I'm sorry, I've got the old, old-fashioned screen share page. Um, so this is all you're getting today, I'm afraid, off me. Um, so this is issue three. And today we will be doing the engine block and fuselage. Now there is a lot to do, or well, there's a lot of pieces. Can Adrian switch the cameras so when reading out instructions, uh, they come up and then make Harlick's full screen again? Yeah, if you want. Um, but I'd like to see Harlick so we can show us the parts. That would yes. be okay. Come, come on. We love to see the parts, don't we? Well, that is what we're here for. So. I need to try and get this open. So I'm going to attempt to do it the Horlix way, which is we're not going to say the, the three, because we all know it's issue three. Um, so <clears throat> part one. Sorry, I'll, wait, I'll wait for Horlix to tell, tell yeah. me when he's ready. Got a little bit of chat. You've got David Bassett now. Yes, please, Horlicks. Issues three and four. This shows how popular a builder you are, Horlicks. It's because he's so meticulous and careful, but not in a bad way. I could watch Horlicks all day. Mm. It's, it's You're too smooth. kind. No, oh, I don't. smoothness about you. I wish the camera had a smoothness about it, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so piece one is the fuselage brackets below engine. 
Okay, so that's this part here. Wow, that's metal. Yeah. P2 is the top of engine block. Okay. Ooh, okay, so that is one of these. There's two the same. Right. No, Please. that's five. Oh, God, that's confusing. Which... <laughs> If it was easy, Horlix, it would be not be fun. I'm guessing this is part five then, actually. It looks like it could be. So piece three and four are both engine block. One is inner and one is outer. Okay. Uh, I'm just trying to get my bearings with these parts. One second. So that is going to be three. Because I can tell you, by this point here in the holes. You've actually got three and seven look very similar. Yeah. And then seven has this part the opposite direction. So then, that's part three. And then this I'm calling part three. Four because of the shape. That looks like part four to me, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So part five is the top of engine block. So that could be it's it, it part again. two basically, isn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah, because it's difficult to tell from the image. Oh, uh, no, okay. I think it will all, all make sense once you've actually, um, once you've come to build it. Yeah. Because yeah. part two won't fit where part five should go, okay. and vice versa. Okay. Okay, and then part six and seven you've just shown us, which is the engine block inner and outer. Now... Call me a saddo, but so far, this next piece is my favourite piece out of all of the builds. Piece 8, nine, name plate times 2. Of all the bits that to love the most, this is my favourite. Oh, yeah. Wow. Man. Beautiful. The metal as well. I think it's because of the 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 iconness. Did I just invent a new word there? It's the British. Yes. Does what it says on the tin, and on the tin it says Rolls Royce. Yeah. So piece nine. In fact, I'll do nine and ten together. Nine and ten are both base of engine block. One has got little stumpy bits, and one has them. Stumpy bit. Yeah. And then hasn't. Yeah. Okay. And then that leaves two two by six millimeter PB screws. And I cannot remember if you get two screws, one of which is spare, or if you get three, but you only need two. No, okay. I've got two of them. Right. So the next one is two two by four mil PM screws. So the longer ones will be the PB screws because they're six millimeter. And the two shorter ones will be the PM screws, which are four mil. Yeah. And then once you've done a few issues. No, no, excuse me. Normally, you can tell these screws apart from from yeah. each other, but once you start putting your spares into the boxes, you've that. Excuse me, so I've got hiccups. You've then got a bit of reference to to compare it with. Mm -hmm. 
So are you happy with the parts? Yes. Right. So stage one, we need to take two engine blocks, uh, six and seven, test fit the assembly so that the pegs on the inside of part seven fit into the sockets in part six, as shown. Apply a little super glue to the pegs and fit blah, blah, and fix the parts together. Uh, tip, the parts for the engine block are very similar. Take, <coughs> take some time to identify them before you start assembly. We strongly advise you to do a complete dry run all the way up to stage seven before applying any adhesive. Would you like to do that? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. So, I mean, I'm pretty confident that that will go together like that. Yeah. Uh, also, they've recommended that you use gel type super glue applied with the tip of a cocktail stick. And I would back that up because the gel, it doesn't run everywhere like uh, the runny stuff does. Um, so, you're actually gluing these, or are you going to do you want me to go straight into part two and all the way through to seven? Because if. It will. I, if this is the issue, I think it is this will become a bit of a comedy if you dry fit all the way up to seven, and we would love that, wouldn't we? Mark's mods. Is this the issue where all the parts go pinging off all over the place? Oh, uh, the place. No, I don't think it is. Oh. I thought it was. It could so, be. Do you want to do this this stage or do you want to go all the way through to seven and then come back and do it for real? And look, he's reading the mag, isn't he? I'm <laughs> no, he's dropped out <sighs> in the stream. Sorry, guys. I didn't he's dropped out. Okay, guys. So um, Dave is now going to do a little bit of a song for you. Um, <laughs> I, believe, I believe he had a very keen interest in singing... Uh, We'll meet again by uh, Dame Vera Lynn. And he yeah, said, if, if the opportunity should arise, then could he please take it? So take it away, Dave. Okay, the problem is, I haven't got the foggiest idea what this song is. So it's we'll meet again. Shoo, 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 cuckoo, shoo, 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 cuckoo, bye, 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 cuckoo. Do da do day, your papa's off to the seven seas. Apologies to the Andrew sisters. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I haven't got a clue. Ah, <laughs> oh dear. It would help if we knew how the song went, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> We're obviously not yeah. old enough. I think. Um, yeah. On your memorial stone, I think we shall have to have it engraved. Gave it a good go. Yeah, give it a try. Yeah, yeah. give it a try. 10 out of 10 for effort. Yeah, 10 out of 10 for effort. Has anybody else um, cottoned on to our nice uh, our nice new uh, logos then that we've got tonight, sir? Logo? Yeah, I'm, um, well, I'm group captain. And yeah, Mark, our, ranks. our ranks. Our yeah. ranks, yeah. Um, Matt Squadron yeah, leader. Worked out our initials. Nobody's worked it's out the initials. Yeah. I think Mark's the hardest one because because um, that's got yeah. to be, isn't it? Yeah, it's got to be the hardest one. But yeah, there is some similarities between us, isn't they? Oh, we oh, just had a few. Pollux is back. Oh, oh, it's I right. Right. You've missed Dave singing. <laughs> Good, he says. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think someone reset the internet here because um i went out and it was flashing and uh, the oh. lights were on so oh, so i don't know where you, where you actually cut out are you actually going to do this stage or do you want to do the dry run it looks like you actually intend to do it so that's that's fine yeah well i might as well just glue this in we know these yeah. parts are going together. Well, I'm With this, you currently got. Um, uh, let me have a look. Oh, hang on. 
Yeah, yeah, you currently got about 15 people that can stop you if you're going about, about to do the wrong thing. Okay. Mm. I think the good Don't thing is, well, like, everybody here has built this, so... Yeah. <laughs> Christine well, says, uh, Harlix, please don't leave the stream again, LOL. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, don't leave it again. That's yeah. one minute. job. <laughs> yeah. One minute. Do you know what? I, I hit the wrong button once, and I'm never living, the living it down, am I? Yeah, yeah, it wasn't yeah. funny, though, because I thought I was going to be stranded for an eternity. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. And I couldn't rejoin, could I? Because I'd left. No. Yeah. I was back in the days of Google Hangouts. Got I'm never going to live the day down when um, everybody dropped out of the hobby show and I was just there on my own. <laughs> Penny, you're sharing the wrong screen. Oh, I am, aren't I? That was close. <laughs> Okay, so looks good for me. Step one. Right, so step two. I lost my cursor now. There we go. I do apologize. I've got two steps up at once here. Um, so step two, take the first engine nameplate three, uh, sorry, eight, and the top of the engine block five. Fit the pegs onto part eight into the holes in part five. This is a push fit connection, which means you can glue it on if you want to. Okay, so looking at the image, you've got this detail on the end here and the holes yeah. facing towards. So I think it's this way. Yeah. I think I might see how the push fit goes. Just about that song uh, that P40F20 put up and Dave sang. Uh, it's a World War II song by the Andrew Sisters. There was also there was a B17 called Shoo Shoo Baby. Ah, right. Okay, yeah. So what in fact might do that is a nice push fit connection. I don't think that's going to come out. No. But I might just put a tiny dab on the rit on the back of the pin in there. I um. Right, this is my personal experience. I made a bit of a cock up and I ended up accidentally scraping the paint off. Uh, well, I've got a bit of super glue on that bit later on. So, where I picked it off, it pulled the paint off. Um, because I hadn't glued that piece A in, when I painted over it to repair it, I was able to take the plate out. So, it just depends what you're doing in the future with it. Okay. And how many mistakes you plan on making, like dropping super glue all over your models. Right. I can't leave it for now. That, then. Won't, that won't fall out on its own. Uh, right. So next stage, step three, fit part five onto the assembly uh, six and seven from step one. When you are happy with the fit, apply a little super glue around, excuse me, the rim of the parts six and seven and fixed together. Cool, oh, wow. So yeah, that's a nice fit. Yeah. So. Look at that poetry in motion, watching Horlicks. I have to admit, the engine on this Spitfire is very detailed. Yes. But not and easy not at times. Oh, yeah. We had we all had fun doing uh, that issue, didn't we? Yeah. Which the, the way you shall not on. be named. Well, the way you're going, Horlicks, it might even be tonight. 
<laughs> I'm gonna put a bit on the top as well. You don't want to rush it though. No. No. Enjoy it, have fun. Okay, so um. there we go. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Okay, you ready for stage four? Yeah. Right, so Take the next two engine block parts, three and four. Test the fit so that the pegs on part three and four fit into the recesses in part four. When you are happy with the fit, apply a little super glue to the pegs and fix in place. Um, we've got Harvey's Vintage Audio and Reel to Reel Heaven. So what I'll do is I'll just say Harvey. Yeah. Um, when it comes right. up. So it says, hi, all. Hi, Harvey. And then he said, there is a nice Dean Martin cover song I sang on this channel. I'll tell you what, I was I was listening today and it is superb. Absolutely superb. Well worth well worth a listen and a watch on, on Harvey's uh, Vintage Audio and Real to Real Heaven YouTube site. Okay, I'm happy with the fit and that is glued. Lovely. So, stage five, you'll never guess what's coming next. No. In the same way, take the other engine name plate eight and fit it into the top of the engine block two. Again, this is a push fit connection. Okay, so this time the holes are facing me and we've got this detail on the right hand side. So, I know that's the right way. And Harvey says, uh, thanks. You're welcome, Harvey. Time. Okay. Beautiful. Absolutely amazing. Okay, are you happy with that? Yeah. Lovely. Right, so stage six. Fit the top of the engine block two onto the engine block assembly three and four when you are happy with the fit apply a little super glue around the rim of parts three and four and fix in place so it's pretty much do things twice okay. And Harvey also uh, says, love the Spitfire. Yeah. I think there should be a new law passed that anyone that doesn't love the Spitfire should be uh, flogged in public. Yeah. yeah. Tele televised live on a bank holiday. Yeah. I'm missing a Penny's R2-D2 not going off. Yeah, I miss him. I don't know where he is. He's in a box somewhere. I mean, I've only got about 30 or 40 to pick from. And Harvey also says, uh, agreed, LOL. Yeah. Perfect. beautiful right are you happy yes okay hard bit now really take your time on this uh stage seven and i can't get the instructions and the picture all in so i'll show you the picture and then i'll just bring the instructions up 
So place the two sides of the engine block three and four and six and seven together to form a V-shape as shown. Note that the name plates eight face outwards. Okay, I'll just pause right. You've done that, yeah? Fit the two engine block bases, nine and ten, on either side of the engine block assembly. Fix the engine block bases together with a PB two by six millimeter screw. You may find it easier to partially screw parts nine and ten together and then insert the engine blocks into the gap before tightening the screw. And this is the bit where it will fling around. Now, if you get this to fling apart, it'll just kind of flip apart um, and just come undone. If yours does it less than 15 times, you've done better than me. And you just know he's going to get that straight in first go, don't you? Right, okay, so... Yeah, it's very fiddly, isn't it? Yeah. Because what will happen is if you hold that slightly wrong, the two, uh, three and four and six and seven. Yeah, there we go. There's one. Four <laughs> <feet>. <laughs> I'd maybe have a screw ready on the end of your screwdriver. Yeah. It's, um, this is what I would call a sense of achievement stage. You will feel it when you've done it. <laughs> the harder, the, the harder the part, the more fiddly, the more, the, the higher the sense of achievement. Alex, I don't think you're doing that correctly. You screw in from the side, not the top. Uh, yeah, that's well, correct. Yeah. yeah, I think that's why it wasn't going well for you. Right. Yeah, yeah that's how it goes. Come on, man. No. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's, he's laughing at the moment. <laughs> I remember correctly when I done mine, I got the screw in and just thought it was one, two. Yeah. See, what I would be tempted to do, they fit in the grooves. You could actually just apply a bit of glue on that lip and glue that into yeah. place. What I was going to suggest, I can't remember exactly what the trick was. Put three and four and six and seven down on, on the towel and put nine and ten together. Oh, hang on. Let me just... Yeah. Okay. Put put the screw in and just screw it by the yeah. one, two, by one two. Just put nine and ten together. Just put the screw in just so that it just bites and holds those parts together. Okay. What sorry, what screw is it you uh requiring? B two by six. It's the longer of the two screws. It's literally half a turn. Right. 
Now, see if you can open that up and then get those two bits in. How's that? Did that work? Yeah. Bloody hell, it worked. Yeah. <laughs> I saw it. Like, I surprised okay. myself there. <laughs> I said, put the screw in first. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah, there we go. Fantastic. You know Horlick, so he likes to do it as per the instructions. Yeah. To get yeah. as much accuracy on how it's done. Well, talking of doing it as per <laughs> instructions, are you ready for the next stage? Yeah. Right. So the next stage, take the piece of fuselage one and the lower fuselage uh, frame two five this is the piece from stage two sorry supply with issue two fit the rain screw socket on part one into the hole in the base of part five at the same time two locating pins will engage in matching sockets note that the frame is slightly angled and by slightly angled they mean it will look like it's not in properly um, when the three holes at the end of the fuselage are flat on the work surface, the top ends of the frame will be flat rather than sloping, as indicated by the yellow arrows. Fixing plate to place with a PM 2 by 4 mil screw. So does that make sense? I think so, yeah. Yeah. No. So Go on, Mark. Good. I was just going to say for you, obviously, they are the purists out there that want it right. So what's the cockpit green number again? It is... Um, I know you'll know Penny and I know... Right. Cockpit it green is Cumbrol 78. Um, but I have managed to find a colour match by a company called Roots Model Paint. But the best colour I've had recommended to me is 78 cockpit green by Humbrol. Now I'm just thinking I know that in a later stage You're going to loosen that screw again So is it worth you putting it fully in? Probably not Probably so, not Because it's a metal screw But Okay I've not tightened that There's still a bit of movement there But yeah. But that it looks wrong, doesn't it? But it is right. Yeah. It's so with this piece flat, these are flat as well. Yeah. And I don't think you can actually fit it in the wrong way round. I am not asking you to try. Okay. Okay, you ready for stage nine? Yeah. There is no stage nine. So that is complete oh. stage three. Right, well, I need to do two. I've got two spare screws, so I need to. Uh... So you have Charlie in the chocolate factory, and now we have Horlicks in the label maker. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've already got a 2 4 pm screw, so that can go in with that. I've got a. Uh, what do you call it? I've got a thing now, wanting a new screw so I can make a label for it. Yeah. <laughs> It's addictive, isn't it? Yeah. So coming up very shortly in stage four is the engine housing and details plus a panel of fuselage that covers the engine. This is held in place by magnetism so that it can be removed. Does that get you excited? Yeah. I mean, as a group, we already have our magnetism, but... Right. You know, some of the things we say to each other, um, yeah. Yeah, we. I think we're at the stage where I don't need to say anything, but everybody knows that I am the best colleague everyone has. That didn't quite come out as well as it said on the mug. You know what, though? I didn't know you guys a year ago, and... 
you know, I, I couldn't imagine not knowing you now, if you know what I mean. Yeah. It's, you know. I mean, really, I didn't have a choice. I just came back and there you were. I just had to live, well, with, like, to live with it. But. You know, I the same issue. <laughs> <laughs> no, that that's what I mean about the friendship. I can say a comment like that, and Mark hasn't blocked me on Facebook and YouTube. No, no. <laughs> we've, had, we've had our disagreements, Penny, but that's because we didn't know each other. But that's exactly what it is. We've not yeah. seen eye to eye. We've yeah. never fallen out over anything. We've just not agreed on an opinion. Yeah. Uh, P40F20 says that screw is going into metal. You can put it in and take it out all day long. Okay, oh. okay so issue four. Yep, is the engine cover panel and engine housing. I'm just carefully trying to slice this out. Now, one thing I think the root master is a bit different. They actually say in this issue we are going to blah 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 blah. This one is tight or then put into the parts. Yeah. Now I found this one quite hard because I kept getting the magnets wrong. So be warned. But you'll probably just go bam straight in. That's a really good idea, Horlicks. He has muted the mic to save us the pain of it going <laughs> as he opens it. Okay. Okay. So, uh, the parts check one. Get that on one page, look. So... Piece number four, you're going to love this one. Engine cover panel left. What do you yeah. think, Alex? Yeah, lovely. Not a beauty. Yeah. Uh, right, piece two is the magnet fixture L1. Now, not to be confused with three and four, but it won't be confused with four. Okay, that is piece two. Um, yeah. Okay, piece three is magnet fixture R1. Oh, turn it round. Yes, that's three. Yeah, sorry. It confused me a bit because it was the opposite direction of the magazine. Oh, sorry, yeah. No, no, it's fine. It's because it didn't look the same as the magazine, but the reason it didn't look the same is you had it upside down by comparison. Right, yeah. That just confused me ever so slightly. You know it's not hard to confuse me, Horlicks. <laughs> so piece number four is the magnet fixture L2, which com looks completely different from the others. Um, Lovely. Is that right? Um, the hole on the right and a screw socket thing on the left. Yep, that's right. But that's at the bottom, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Or is it that way? Oh, maybe you've got it right. To, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that must be the way they've got it. Well, we'll find out in a bit. I, I know one of these parts you don't actually use this week. Right. I can't okay. remember which one. Right, so piece five is the engine housing inner. Lovely. Mm. Piece six is the engine housing front. Beautiful. Uh, piece seven is the frame with end blocks A and B. C and D will be used in a future issue. Perfect. 
Perfect. You might have a little bit of flash on the C and D pieces, but that's easy to deal with. Yeah. Um, yeah. So piece eight is the engine housing front. Oh, and that's metal. Is it? I forgot that. This is why I love doing the past this year. You see, it all brings it back to me. Right now, piece nine is a magnet marked on the wide side. I remember these magnets are a nightmare. They were. They were. Look at that already. Can't, can't lose them, can you, Horlex? <laughs> <laughs> I okay. bet you can find them out your window. You still wouldn't lose them. So basically, you've got three magnets that are the same shape and size, but one will look different from the other two. Yeah. So this yeah. is the different one, and it's got a marking on one side. Yeah. Now, keep that well away. You know where normally you put your parts close together? Keep these ones well away, because they do love each other. Um, so part 10 is two magnets marked on the narrow side. So where are the markings on those? On the narrow side. On the narrow side. It's not quite what I meant like that. But... <laughs> right. And then you should have seven two by four millimeter p p p PM screws, of which one is spare. And these are not the same as last week's or last issue screws, are they? Yes. They are the same, okay. Does that mean you can't do another label? No. Mind you, you could do two pots of PM screws, pot one and pot two. Yeah. PM screws from stage two, uh, three, and PM screws from stage four. Yeah, could do. Yeah. Oh yeah, right. One, two, three, four, five, there's seven of them. One Lovely. spare. PM two four. You've got three of them now. No, okay. yeah, word and we'll go straight into stage one. Okay. So stage one. Take the engine housing parts six and eight. Identify the three pegs on part six, which are circled in the magazine, and the corresponding hole in part eight. Yep. Okay. Uh, after stage two, sorry, after testing the fit, use a cocktail stick to apply a tiny bit of super glue to the three pegs on part six fit the engine housing parts eight over the pegs as shown <clears throat> that's, that's a lovely effect. yeah really really nice did i just hear a, 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 an ambulance just crashed there no there was an ambulance they oh, just turned it far enough. No, I, just, I thought I heard an ambulance and then an explosion. I did. I thought I heard that too, Penny. Ah, so it wasn't me going mad then. No. Good. Because I wouldn't want that again, would I? No, not again, no. Bad enough last time. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so that's the work of the perfectionist, isn't it? Yeah. Lovely. Right. It's still so, a bit loose, but I'm going to give it a minute okay. for that glue to dry. What kind of glue are you using? The super glue gel. 
which which brand? Gorilla. Oh. Well, oh, I've got that. Sometimes you need to wait about five to ten seconds. Or you sometimes you have to wait two or three minutes. One, two, three, four. There we go. Yeah. Fixed and done. Okay. Okay, so stage three. Uh, take the inner housing part five. Identify the three pegs around the inner rim part six and check the fit. Apply a little super glue to the pegs on part six and fix part five in place. Okay. Wow. Hmm. Mine is some tweezers for this one. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that's quite a good fit. Yeah. So now I'm going to put some glue on the pegs. Uh, I need some fresh glue. So this bit that doesn't want to stick to the metal part at all. Right. Might be your glue had gone off when you did it, Harley, so you might have to re-glue it. Okay, let's start this again then. Well that's still it doesn't want to glue that bit either. Did, did, no, you give you, did you give your bottle a really good shake? Yeah. Okay. So I find if you leave that for a bit, it kind of separates and it's useless, isn't it? It's like it's a two-part glue. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's, that's a bit of an issue there, isn't it? Well, I think Maybe uh, one of the pegs hadn't quite made connection with it properly. Or maybe it was just like Mark said, a bit of a bad bit of glue. And that's the problem sometimes you, when you're putting glue into a pot, it does go off, you know, as it starts to separate. Yeah. It's not really designed to be put into uh, a little waste packaging thing and then use no. half an hour later it's designed to be used now yeah but a little bit of patience and we've got it all sorted out yeah Okay, 
Okay, we need to leave that to dry. Okay, dokie. Shall we have a look at stage four then to see if we can get on with it? Yeah. We have to take an interlude and have more Dave singing. Oh, no. No, okay. oh, no. no, 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 no. <laughs> Right, so stage four, you will need that part you just glued. And what you'll be doing is cutting parts A and B from the frame seven and smoothing any roughness with fine sandpaper. Check which way round they are fitted to part eight and apply a little super glue to the tabs on part A and B and fix in place. Okay, so that's these two bits here yeah oh my camera's got your camera portrait mode it's a lovely camera apart from that bit <clears throat> we'll have to sing something when we get this uh, Spitfire sorted, won't we? When we all get it built. Yeah. What do you think would be the appropriate song to sing? There'll be bluebirds over the white cliffs of Dover. You know yeah. what? I can't think of a better song, actually. Yeah. What is more iconic than a Spitfire flying over the white cliffs of Dover? Yes. Everybody says, thinks it will meet again. That was the favourite song, but it isn't. It's the White Cliffs of Dover. Yeah. But it was um, obviously when the war is finished and they'd meet again. Yeah. yeah. There'll be, oops, just snapped a piece of elastic band, sorry. There'll <laughs> be two bells over the White Cliffs of Dover. And that's all I know. Tomorrow, just you wait and see. And my other Robson is your own favourite song really is Up on the Roof. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We really, uh, we really get to go out when she was in the middle of um, uh, East, no, the Forgotten Army. Yeah. When she went out over there, she was singing that. She sang that there. She wrote that out. Where my granddad was fighting the Japanese. Yeah. I actually prefer the White Cliffs. Sorry. Sorry. I actually prefer the White Cliffs of Dover to We'll Meet Again. Yeah, well, I think we. We can understand we meet again was merely for your soldier that went away fighting the war. Yeah, that's I think that's sort of a standing on the railway platform seeing your loved one off. Okay, let's uh let's try and move on. Yeah. Do you have any blue tack? Not to hand. It's a shame because, and if you struggle with picking these up, you could actually pick them up with blue tack and then stick them on. And then, as you pull the blue tack away, if the glue is set, the glue, the blue tack will come off. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. Well, That's why I pick up small pieces, you see. So I've cut these pieces out. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I'm just going to see what the fit's like. It's a long way to tip the river. <laughs> oh, 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 Jodder, it's a long way to tickle Mary. 
<laughs> to the sweetest girl I know. Oh, she mother. <laughs> Yorkshire Craft has just put, we need a part works choir. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The band from part works. Yeah. 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 Can you imagine ringing up half share? Hello, I'd like to subscribe to your latest uh, part work, please. And they'll go, sorry, we've seen your shows. You can't have it. <laughs> I apologize if you can hear my chair rolling on the floor. I have a, a wooden floor. I will be investing in a mat just for the uh, around the desk. So, if we have a part work choir, uh, choir, Julie, are you joining? Because you know you're one of us, whether you like it or not. <laughs> yeah, we don't need a, yeah. a female voice as well, don't we? Yeah, we'll say the old. The old 1940s Well, we've got a good uh, a good start because uh, Ed Sheeran lives at Johnny Dave's house. <laughs> <laughs> Ed Sheeran's not 1940s. <laughs> <laughs> Ed Sheeran's okay, that is step five. Um, no, sorry, that's step four done. So I haven't read your step five yet. <laughs> Are you happy with that? Yeah, I have, yeah. Lovely. Right, so stage five, this shows the assembled front section of engine housing with parts seven, A and B, fixed in place. You're going to love this bit. You're going to love it. Right. Okay. So, would you like to move on to stage six? Yes, let's do that. So, it's getting technical now. Uh, take the fuselage panel uh, number one and identify the fixing positions for the magnets. And I'll pause there while you find identify the positions. Lovely. Take, the first, take the first magnet ten. And the magnet fixture two. Note that the magnet 10 has a black mark on one narrow side. This indicates the polarity and should face upwards. Insert and brown arrow. It says black mark, but I think it's actually yellow, isn't it? On the magnet? Yeah. It's white. Oh, white. It's definitely not black, is it? No. Okay, so this goes upright. We need this magnet holder here. Yeah. Fit the magnet into the fixture two and fix on it fixed the inside of the magnet one using a PM two by four millimeter screw. And to repeat Mark from earlier, you might want to load the screwdriver up with a screw first. Uh, got a little bit of chat. Uh, Mike Tedstone says, Hi, please forgive my lateness. Hi, Hi, Mike. Hi, Mike. No, it's uh, fine. No one's ever late. Hi, no. Mike. I think we're getting Mike into part works, you know. Yeah. Uh, Yorkshire Crafter went, No, no, no. I think that's with the uh, join the choir. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I yeah. think that was in relation to joining the choir. Yeah, I am. Yeah. You've signed yourself up with that statement. Yeah, you have it all late. Too late now. Yeah, crafty, uh, crafty, LOL, yeah, I am. Uh, Mike Tedstone, uh, usual Saturday chores. And he's also put hi all. Hi all. So, uh, yeah, oh. hi, Ted. Hi, hi, Mike Tedstone. So, yeah, usual sa Saturday chores. It used to be what chores? 
Uh, and then my reply to that was, I'll have three pounds, please. Yeah, that's it. Just also to fill you in as well, Mike, as you're a little bit late, we've given ourselves all, all titles and initials, um, so or awards, and you have to guess what they mean. Yeah. And no one's guessed any so far. No, they haven't, have they? And if you do notice really sharply, you'll notice that quite a few of us have got the same initial. Yes. Saying that, they can't see it because we're on my screen. They'll, they'll oh, see yeah. it, actually. Oh, they'll see it when we, when we pop So we've got up. ABM Horlix BCP, yes. <coughs> uh, Squindler Mark Mods BCP ADI, yeah. Group Capped Dave's Hobbies BCP, yeah. WC Penny's Pit Stop v, VB, VBP DSOPW LCW BSC 10 stroke 10 squan and then Jory Dave uh, BCP LCW you've also got um, Adrian's just disappeared for a bit but he's got loads of initials as well Let me yeah. see if I can find them so Adrian is um, VBP LC L S C W H O S D and G E F and even I can't remember what they mean now. <laughs> he says uh, water closet W C. Oh, it's, a, it's an R E F rank, not not what you do in between um, uh, patrols in your Spitfire. <laughs> okay, how are you getting on, Horlicks? Right, so I've got the bracket. I've put the yeah. magnet in with yeah. the line upwards. Lovely. Now, when you fit that to the fuselage, it might want to jump out and stick to the fuselage, which is made of metal. Right. Just in case your life was a little bit too easy. It's No, he's figured it out, look. Superb. Look at that. Straight in there. So I think I fitted mine round the wrong way about 15 times, didn't I, Dave? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so. And the magnet is a bit loose in there. So it's not falling out. Uh, then take a magnet 49, mark on the wide side, and the magnet fixture 44. In this case, the black mark on the magnet should face towards the fuselage brown arrow. Fix the magnet into the fixture 4 and fix to the inside of the fuselage 41 using a PM 2x4mm screw. Oh, I like that. A versatile man. Yeah, yeah. I've heard that Mike Turfstone says a versatile man for Holix's AVM. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? Well, not correct, but it's good. That's light. It's good, isn't it? Very fitting. Yeah. Yeah. So I've put this in the bracket with the line facing me. So that line will then face. I mean, the only way you'll know you've got that correct is when you get the part that fixes two, which I don't think will be a million issues away. Well, it's not a million issues in the part work, but. This is a bit tricky, this one. She wants to fall out. Also, be careful of your screwdriver holics as well, because I demagnetized one of my screwdrivers doing this. <laughs> Warning, this part work does damage to your equipment. Mm. I, 
think I remember at the time when we were doing these, there was a bit of controversy about how the magnets went in. Um, well, there's only two ways to put them in, isn't there, really? The yeah. correct way yeah. and the incorrect way. Yeah. Well, people were saying it was this way around, other people were saying it was this way around. And... <laughs> I, I did find that I couldn't, uh, I, I couldn't quite fathom it out, and I did what I thought was best, and then Dave just looked at it from afar and just went, yeah, you got them the wrong way around. So I kept sort of taking them apart and refitting them until they, what, once you've got the bit where you fit it, to, I think it's the next issue you'll know if they're right or wrong. Yeah. Uh, uh, turn, turns transport photo says BC Bill BCP builder of classic part works quite very, close but not there. Very close, but yeah, not very close. Very close. Okay, that's them then. Fantastic. So, stage seven? Yes. No, there is no stage seven. That is complete. The oh. nose of your Spitfire model is beginning to take shape, and an engine cover panel has had magnets fitted. The two remaining parts on the frame for seven will be used in a future issue. Leave them attached to the frame and store safely. The remaining magnet, magnet fixture and screws will also be used in a future issue. So guess what? Label them and store them safely. Okay. So I'll and put then, the two screws in. Yeah. And then coming up in stage five, you like that one. Another section of fuselage, the right side engine cover, plus parts for the front of the engine housing. Right, uh, Dave Mack says, uh, I'm going to say good night, guys. Nice to see you doing the Spitfire Holics. You're doing a great job. Night all night, Hi. Uh, Hi. Dave Mack. Thank you. Good night, Dave Mack. Good night. Okay, I've put the magnet and the plastic housing in one of the yeah. pots, and then we've got left these, uh, all these parts here. Oh. Lots of pounds. Fantastic. Lovely. You've got quite a bit already, haven't you, with just four issues? Yeah. And obviously the... Uh... And I'm happy to say this is not one of those part works where you get something amazing in issue one and then it sits on your shelf for a year and a half. No, you're well, using it straight away, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Dave, do you want to read this one out from P40F20? Okay. <laughs> so we'll meet again. Don't know when, don't know when, but I know we'll meet again some cuckoo day. <laughs> smiling through. Even though we're not through till the blue skies chase the dark clouds far away. I've the wrong way, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, apologies to Dan Veerly. Pays off on one now. I knew there was some reason why I uh, join in on this show. Yeah. We've not got to be mad to, to join us, but it does help, it doesn't really it? It really does help, yes. Yeah. 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 Oh dear. Okay, I'll do the YouTube schedule while Harlix is uh, labelling things. So, tomorrow, Sunday, is my channel at 8 o'clock, and I'm doing Spitfire again. Uh, it's 39 and 40. Um, and then on Monday, we've got Chris Davies World at 8 o'clock uh, doing the Ecto Walk. And then on Tuesday, he's built with Adrian at 7.30 and he's building the Samba Camper. And then on Wednesday, which is... It's 
Penny Day. So at two yeah. o'clock, we've got uh, the Paint with Diamond show, and that's going to be on both uh, Yorkshire Crafter and Penny's Pit Stop channel. And I can't because I've done it for two weeks. I know, Jim <laughs> said you were, definitely, you were definitely missed. Yeah. Um, and then later on, on Penny's channel, 8 o'clock, is the part work show, Route Master 104, 105. And yeah. I have um, forgotten what half of these boxes are, but the Route Master parts I've got, I've got the issue ready. That will definitely go ahead, if nothing else. Yeah. Brilliant. And then uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, obviously that's the festive period, so we won't be streaming on them evenings. And yeah. the next build will be Monday, the 28th of December, and that'll be Chris Camplin his Terminator. Yeah. I will update the Christmas thing, because as that's cancelled now... Christmas is not right. cancelled, just the builds. <laughs> no, I mean... Because of the tier four thing, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to go anywhere anyway. So um, no, we'll see. Are you in the tier four, Alex? Yeah. Well, more or less, aren't you? More or less, yeah. I think that just round us are, so it won't be. It's going to. It's going to be not long. Yeah. 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 Uh, we've just got a little bit to chat. Uh, Mike Tedstone, uh, squadron leader. That's yeah, correct. that's okay. correct. Uh, Mike Tedstone again, uh, L FLT flight lieutenant. Correct. Uh, mm -hmm. P40F20, nice work, Horlix. Thank you. Uh, we've lost all Connor, our times. Connor Raccoon, hi. And we've got P40F20, great show tonight, Eagle Squadron. Yeah. Right. So, shall we reveal then? Yes. One by one. Yeah. So, so Holly, what is your titles? I can't remember. <laughs> so, you are <laughs> Air Vice Marshal Horlix, builder of completed part works. Yeah. Yes. That's it. Me, I am squadron leader, Mark's mods, build completes part works, and approved driving instructor, because that's what I used to do. And I'm group captain Dave's hobbies, builder of complete part works. And I am wing commander Penny's pit stop. Very busy person, distinguished service order in part works, loves caramel wafers. Uh, bronze swimming certificate and 10 out of 10 squadron. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hi, this one. Purely dear. Build company part works and loves Colorado wafers. And uh, Adrian, I'll see if I can remember. Obviously, you haven't seen him, but he is chief technician, of course. Build with Adrian. A uh, very busy person. Love sending caramel wafers. Um, I cannot remember what HOSD meant. Uh, HOSD. Yes. Uh, head of sorting off. Uh, S. Head of sorting department. That's shipping it. department. And uh, GEF. Gets everything free. That's right. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, right. yeah, they, they, they sounded better in abbreviations than, than they actually were, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it was all a bit of fun. Yeah, it's a bit of fun. Um, that is the most fun I've had outside of Wednesdays for a long time. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, really enjoyed that. And um, I've just got a feel of, of how this model is going to go. And it's yeah, it's amazing. The way that you've built those issue for uh, first four issues, how careful and patient you were with them, I think that issue will be quite simple for you. It'll still be a long issue, but I think you'll just take it in your stride and get on with it. Yeah, yeah. The engine. You can tell, can't you, the, uh, the quality of these parts? They're actually okay, aren't they? 
They're really good, aren't they? Again, like Rootmaster, they're not metal for metal's sake. I mean, that was another complaint that people had had, wasn't it? About the wings being plastic. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, you can get better detail with plastic, um, but when they need strength, they're made of metal. Yeah. We've got to think about it. If everything was made out of metal, it'd be one very heavy model. Oh, of course, yes. Yeah. But it would be lower detail. We're so mm. lucky to have part works in this, this day and age because, I mean, I know when I first got into figure painting, all the figures <coughs> were metal. And they were quite low detail. When they brought plastic models out, you know, you even had detail on the eyeballs. That was how good detail you could get. Mm. Yeah. Right. So, uh, I guess we better call that a night then. So, yeah. um, thank you all very much for your help in, in, in launching this uh, for me. And um, yeah, really enjoyed that. And um, yeah, I can't wait to get on and do some more. Yeah. So, I need well, to. If part one leaves you itching for more, you know it was a good one. Yeah. Yeah, thing is, I've got 30. Well, I've got up to about, I think I've got up to issue 39. So, yeah. so hold back a bit, you'll get there, Horlicks. If you're doing a couple of week, I mean, some of the issues are quite simple and you'll quite easily get two done. Uh, I mean, look, tonight you've done four, and they weren't they weren't what I call slow issues, they're all worthwhile issues. Yeah, you next done tonight. Next few issues are going to start getting trickier because the engine and the engine is a little bit of a yes. lovely engine. But you might even get a bit fed up at the engine because it's so much engine. But once it all comes together, you'll be like, wow. And then you'll move yeah. on. Yeah. It's like the you know. DeLorean engine. The DeLorean engine was, you know, very fiddly. The, the Rootmaster yeah. engine was really fiddly. But when, we, when it was finished, I mean, I enjoyed doing it. On um and when it was finished it was amazing you know there was a few fiddly parts like the um those pipes on the top of the root master engine we yes. had to we had to try and glue them on and then flick the part over and well let's just that. say that the root if the if the root master was level two this is probably what mark level four yeah 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 Right, just a little bit of chat before we go. So, um, uh, uh, Connor Whitmore, hi everyone. Uh, Yorkshire Crafter, great build and great show. And uh, Harvey uh, says bye all. Okay. Right. Thank you um, all for commenting. As I say, if you're new to the channel, please uh, consider uh, subscribing to get uh, some more content. Um, but apart from that, uh please check out the description there's a link to all of these fabulous people's channels in there if you want to see any of their builds uh i've also got a link to my amazon wish list um i've got a patreon as well if you wish to uh, support me in any way um but for now until the next uh, show i'm going to say good night and i shall go through in order unfortunately we've lost adrian for the moment so yeah. um i won't be able to show him but we've got penny so thank you for having me on tonight um i mean i found myself with a rare night off i was working early today and i'm on late tomorrow so i'm just like yeah i mean almost invited myself on tonight but i had to be here and i'm really glad it's what has gone really well um so keep looking out for Horlicks the streams because you've seen the quality he can do he will continue that all the way through I know to the end. So take care, guys. Thank you very much. Um, and then we've got Mark Smarts, squadron leader. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a good night from me. Um, yeah, we did a, a couple of extra issues, but it's nice to see Penny and Horlicks working away together. Yeah. Like we do on a Wednesday evening. And it's nice to see that dynamic duo, really, uh, with them. So it's good night for me. And I'll see you tomorrow night when we're on my channel doing more Spitfire. Lovely. Yeah, I'll be uh, watching that, see what I've got coming up. And we've got Dave's Hobbies. 
Well, it's a good night for me. Uh, thanks for inviting us along, Harlex, to, to help out tonight. It's been a uh, pr privilege and an honour as, as normal. Um, you, you've got four issues done tonight, which is absolutely fabulous. And um, so it's got, got you off to a good start. So um, we'll see you on, and on on some other show um, before much longer. Probably Mark's show tomorrow night, actually. So um, good night from me. Take care now. Lovely. Thanks, Bye. Dave. Bye. And then we've got Geordie Dave. Yeah, and it's good night from me. Um, thanks for having us on, Holix. Another great show. I hope everybody enjoyed it. And uh, good luck. Lovely. Thank you very much. And that being said, it's a good night. Oh. <laughs> good night. See you now.